Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Undrafted Views. I am Sha here with Eve. Say what's up to the people. Hey, y'all. <laughs> All right. So on this channel, we talk sports from the sidelines. I mean, we get into it. And today we are talking about coups. None other than Cal Kuzma, number zero from the Los Angeles Lakers. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, lately this has really been bothering me as it relates to Kuz. I mean, we know Kuz is a stand-up guy. He's a great competitor. He can score the bucket. But why didn't the Lakers trade him to begin with? Why didn't they? <laughs> he, should, he should be gone. No, being with the Lakers at this stage of, in his career is actually a detriment, I think. Um, he doesn't get enough minutes anymore. And actually, I wonder if his confidence level has been compromised because of the trade rumors. And is that, a, and that was back in 2019, but has it affected how he approaches the game with the Lakers team. I often wonder that. And it's hard to be in a position or in a in a in in an environment where you know that you have been the discussion of trade rumors. So. You know what? Honestly, I don't think the Lakers really wanted to trade him at all. Mm. I, I think it was just a talking point because we all know who runs that organization and it's not upper management. It's LeBron yeah. James. And the way that LeBron talks about having Kyle on the team and all that, it, it, I really think LeBron wanted to keep him and also get Anthony Davis. Unfortunately, they had to trade away the young core, right? So I don't think the Lakers, I just think if LeBron said, hey, Trey Kuz, Lonzo, Josh Hart, and Brandon Ingram, because I need to get AD here ASAP, I think the Lakers would have done that. But why keep him though? Keep because, him just in case Anthony Davis is injured. Uh huh. I was gonna say uh -huh. he's an insurance plan. He Cal Kuzma is being utilized as an insurance plan because I think AD is soft throughout his entire career. He's had injury after injury. Now, granted, he's a big man, and you know they get banged and bruised a lot. Right. But every little injury, he's out. I mean, he got poked in the eye here recently, and. Hey, hey, he's hey. out. Like, hey. come on, man. Well, maybe he'll come back with some goggles. Kareem Moore. <laughs> Kareem. Yeah. 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 I just AD is soft and they need somebody like Kuzma to satisfy LeBron. We got to pacify LeBron. Yeah. Yeah. He is the GOAT. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't no, I don't agree with you on that. But. <laughs> they say he is the GOAT. And um what he has earned the prestige and the privilege to be able to say who he wants on his team. It's just what it is. And because of that, I believe that Kuz, unfortunately, maybe to the benefit of the insurance plan that you mentioned that the Lakers have, but to his detriment as a player, right, has impacted um, his ability to shine. And I think that he needs to be traded to another team where he will be able to flourish as a player. And I don't think the Lakers today is that place for him. Mm -hmm. unfortunately. So you don't think there's any possible chance that Anthony Davis and Kyle Kuzma can coexist with LeBron and both players hmm. be um, successful on the court? What would that look like? That's the problem. I don't right. believe that. Yeah, I, I also believe that Kyle should have been traded along with the young guys, the young core, as everyone likes to call them. Um, mm -hmm. Because, first of all, I, I just don't think he's being used properly. No, I agree with that. I also think that he's young, or well, he is young, of course. But I think that during the first, what, two, three years of his career, he mm -hmm. needs to be with maybe a younger nucleus of players. And now with some old guy trying to win his last championship in his career. 
You know, I don't think there's anything wrong with working with veterans. I mean, the idea is that when you work with someone who's much older than you, with more experience, they can potentially mentor you, Mm -hmm. right? And help shape you and help you make the right decisions and become a better player or person or employee. I mean, so I can see the him being uh, like LeBron and the other older guys, the other other veterans on the Lakers being a mentor to Kyle. Right. I think what's missing is that you're right. Since LeBron is in his closing years closing. as, an NBA, as mm. an NBA player, no, he's in his farewell season. That's what I should say. He's in his farewell season. I don't know when that's going to happen. It may be this year, next year, year after next, but it's a season where he is now um, ending his career. And because he wants to end it on a certain note, anybody under that will be an afterthought. And I, unfortunately, Kyle Kuzman is going to be an afterthought if he continues to stay with the Lakers and he continues to be in the uh, regime of LeBron and what the Lakers have today. Mm. Wow. that You know what? That's too bad. Yeah. But I do think LeBron is doing a good job of mentoring the younger players. Oh, I, I'm not going to take that away from him. Yeah. Um, a lot of players have they they all rave about LeBron and how he, you know, teaches them how to take the game seriously and all these wonderful things, what to do off the court. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna take that away from LeBron mm-hmm. at all. Yeah. Well, you know, they, they what they talk about um, when I listen to them talk about LeBron and the most valuable player, it's about how he makes others better, right? So if he's making others better, it's always subjected to whoever's watching. Because in this case, is Kyle Kuzma becoming a better player um, under his regime? I don't know. I think Kyle Kuzma would have been a good player with or without LeBron. I mean, we're seeing snippets of what's possible with Kyle Kuzma. If he were with a younger team or any other team where they could possibly build around him, or at least he could be the second option. Right Mm -hmm. now, he's the third option. And it shouldn't be that way. Mm. I think he's a third option behind LeBron and AD. And then maybe it's Kuzma. But even um, Frank Vogel, he said the third option is whoever's open. <laughs> and then you had, yeah, and then you had uh, one of the veteran players, um, Dudley, say, oh, no, you got it wrong, coach. Cal Kuzma is our third option. See, when you have that type of miss. Uh, communication or that huge misunderstanding within the organization yeah. amongst the players, how can Kyle Kuzma thrive when he doesn't even know where his position is? Where's his place in the offense? That's correct. That's correct. And if the coach doesn't see it, it doesn't really matter what the players say. Exactly. Unless LeBron says different. Ah, uh, see, there we go again. Yeah. Who's running the team? <laughs> the best player on earth. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just think that, you know, looking at the last scrimmage game that the Lakers played where Kyle Kuzma put up 25 points, he was balling, right? Balling. Is it just that he needs space? And in this case, space without um, AD being on the court. Now, AD was unfortunately injured, and so I hope he gets well. But, <laughs> I mean, does he need space in order for him to be able to put up the numbers that he did in his rookie season? Mm-hmm. You know, will the will the coach and the organization see him as the third option, the real third option, and utilize his strengths accordingly? Otherwise, he'll be sitting on the bench. It'll be another year that has passed, and he will, will continue to become an afterthought. And when the next trip, because I think he's going to be able to be, he's going to yep. be free agent real soon. Oh yeah. And someone asked him, one of these sports writers, they said, hey, you know, basically it, your time now is is up for you to, you know, sign a new contract. Do you think it's going to be with the Lakers? Do you want to stay here? And I think Kyle said the right thing when he was like, you know what? It don't really matter to me. I'm going to get paid regardless. What Show does that the, tell you? Show me the money. Show, Show me, me the money. You know, the Lakers are willing to pay, so then in essence, if the Lakers are willing to pay him, he's gonna stay. And if he stays, get your pay, get your paper. They don't have enough money to pay Kyle Kuzma, pay Anthony Davis, and LeBron James. How are they gonna pay Kyle Kuzma what he what he's worth and what he could be paid on another team? Tell me how. What are his other options? 
the team, there's plenty of teams with money that would love to to sign Kyle Kuzma or make a trade. Okay. Who, right now, the Lakers who are Lakers loaded. With, trade? Who, who, huh? who, who will the Lakers trade? They gave up all their goods when they acquired Anthony Davis. And like I was getting ready to say, the Lakers are filled with veterans. Nobody want those old guys, one-year deals. What what am I do with uh what am I do with Rajon Rondo at this stage of his career? Oh yeah, no. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Dion Waiters, Jr. Smith, Jr. Smith. How, what are you gonna get in exchange? You know, like no, no. I, I don't know what they're gonna do. Oh, I think God. yeah. I would love to see Kyle. It probably won't happen, but I'd love to see him with the Pelicans. I'd love to see him with Memphis. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. um, I think he can thrive in the Eastern Conference as well. He can probably dominate in the Eastern Conference. It is time for him to move. I hope that it's the move is what's best for him uh, financially and um, statistically, right? Where he gets mm-hmm. what he needs in both arenas. I think he's an up, upcoming star. He is. A, he's an upcoming star, but he needs the space, the environment where he can thrive. And if he doesn't get that, he will be like all the past players, right? That's a that shame. were drafted, that came into their rookie season balling, doing really great numbers, shocking, you know, the world with all of their stats. And then they fall off. Yeah. And I think in Kyle's case, the fall off is not because he's not capable. I believe it's because the environment that he is in does not I- encourage him to thrive. Mm-hmm. I, that's what I believe. They don't give him a chance. They don't give him the opportunity. Yeah. You know, I don't once think he it's gets skill. hot. It's not yeah. skill. It's not skill. It's lack of availability, it's lack of time on the court, right? And um not being seen as, as you mentioned, a third option. He's just who he's one of he's one of the other guys on the bench. Who's ever open? Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? yeah. That's what he said. I was shocked. I'm like, wow, you got I'm sure Kyle Kuzma will make an all-star here very soon. But uh, with, with the Lakers, because you know LeBron's going to be an All Star, AD, okay. and then you're going to have Kyle too. I mean, I don't know, three players from the same team making an All Star. That's possible. I mean, it's been done before, mm-hmm. right? With Golden State. Yeah, it's possible. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I just hope that. I just I want to see Kyle on the floor more. I just wish he would have gotten traded, to be honest. Yeah, I think the benefit, although it was really hard to watch to see, to hear, being here in LA and knowing that your young core, the three guys were going to be traded. That was horrible. It yeah. was horrible. It's part of the game. I get that. Doesn't mean it doesn't, doesn't mean it's not horrible. I mean, let's just be honest. It doesn't feel yeah. good to be like, you, you no longer are wanted here. Let me send you somewhere else because we want somebody that we believe is better. Are you yeah. serious? That's hard to tell. Although they're no longer with the Lakers and they were part of the trade deal, I believe they benefited from it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They didn't like it at first. No, I'm sure. Because they didn't like the fact that you're telling me that I'm not good for your organization. Yeah. OK, first of all, I was OK prior to July of 2018. Oh, what happened then? Mm-hmm. Who came in town? The, oh, this, right. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah. So prior to that, I mean, we weren't doing really well, but we were OK. You know, now all of a sudden you, you see something better. That's fine. You know, whatever happens again, business is business. Right. But then you train me off and I'm supposed to be OK with that, although I'm going to be OK right now. I'm not OK because it doesn't feel good that you are telling me that I'm not worthy to be here. So yeah. now they're in they're in uh, New Orleans thriving, made it to the playoffs. I will. Maybe, 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 maybe um, they made it to the bubble. Maybe that's what I should say. And, you know, y'all need to thank Zion Williamson for that. But we did make it to the bubble. <laughs> Um, and then they are now competing to be the eighth seed for the Western Conference. And I'll say good for them. Let's see. But Kyle, I'm rooting for you. Boo. <laughs> I'm rooting for you. I want you to get all the glory. I want you to get it. You deserve it. Yeah, he does. He works hard. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he was training under Kobe before before Kobe passed. And now he, he's getting the tutelage from LeBron. And he can take everything that he's mustered from these guys and take it to a new team and flourish. Absolutely. That's what I'm hoping for. Me too. Me too. Yeah. Go Kyle. Yeah. Go Coos. Yeah, go Coos. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in to this episode. 
strictly focus on Kyle Kuzma, but you know, yeah. you know, we like to talk sports in general. You From know? the sideline. Yeah, the sideline. that's what we do anything. It <laughs> truly can be anything. And this is what we would be talking about if we were in the stands. Absolutely. <laughs> With my popcorn. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm glad that you guys could join us today, but we will see you guys on the next one. Until then. Bye. Take care. See you guys.